What is going on guys? I'm Simon and welcome to your first XHTML and CSS tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing what is XHTML, where you can find it, and how does it actually look. So basically, if you want to get your first overview of what XHTML is, just click on your browser. I mean, personally I use Google Chrome. Google Chrome is the best. Anything by Google is pretty good right now. So you go onto Google.com, let's say. And here I've got a random web page. Let's say, well, young artist coast to coast submitted artwork for Doodle for Google. Oh, that's a great rhyme. Great rhyme. Uh, so let's click on this website web link. So we get all this stuff, and you say, well, this must be pretty cool. How did he, how did the programmer, how did the website designer design this? So Google and every single website on the internet is going to provide you with its source code. Source code is basically what is behind every single web page. So if you click, right click on your mouse, it's going to give you a menu and simply under translate to English, I mean probably it's going to be translated to English because uh, probably you understand English and that's the best way, <laughs> otherwise you wouldn't be listening to this tutorial. It's going to give you a view page source. When you click on this view page source, it's gonna give you a bunch, a bunch of, a bunch of code which you've never probably seen in your life before, and you don't know what's going on here. But don't worry, this is just the beginning for XHTML. I mean, you will be understanding what is this and what every single most lines of code, not every single, but because a lot of this code is written in JavaScript, but a lot of this code you'll be able to understand by the end of this tutorial. And let's say, for example, we're going to be looking with links and uh, hrefs in a couple of tutorials, and we're going to be understanding what is this actually doing. But anyway, now let's, you might be wondering, like, what is the best uh, software for writing XHTML? So one can use pretty much any notepad. I mean, personally, this notepad here under accessories and if you go to command prompt you're gonna get underneath command prompt you're gonna get notepad and then notepad looks really really bland i mean what is here there's like two buttons on the top and it's a blank space with it's not gonna change it's just just blank editing save as format i mean there's nothing pretty cool about this if you look at it it's just like a just how they even and all this was like just a white blot of screen. Personally, I enjoy using Notepad++ because it gives me functions which are very useful when writing XHTML and CSS, and I highly recommend you download it, Notepad++. So if you go into Notepad++ and type it in onto your uh, onto Google or Yahoo or whatever you're using or Bing. Hopefully, you're not using Bing. <laughs> But Google is the best for web browsing. But anyway, you can click on Notepad++ Home, and it's going to give you all this. Now, if you look at this little guy, I don't even know what this is. But anyway, this is Notepad++. Now, you can click on Download, and it's going to give you a current version. Now, don't worry if the current version is not the same as mine, or if the website even looks a little bit different because they constantly are updating their versions to make it more improved and you're probably not going to be getting the same version as mine unless you're downloading it on the same week or same day as I, I made this video so just click on download wherever it's going to be <laughs> and then it's going to give you a list of options of what you can download I mean personally zip packages and minimalist packages and binary packages you might be encountering later but for now just take installer because installer is going to do everything that you're going to need to write XHTML. So just click on Installer, and here in Google Chrome, it's just going to show me that it's downloading down here. And boy, my internet's pretty slow right now. Anyway, it's loading, and bam, I've got this Notepad Plus Plus Installer. So I just click on this, and then I have to run it to get here. Hopefully you're going to be doing English because this tutorial is in English and I'm not going to be using any other languages to describe this tutorial. So let's just use English. Hopefully you understand what English is. Otherwise, this tutorial would be a complete waste of time for you and you just hear gibberish. So click OK. And then you're going to get Welcome to Notepad++ Setup. So we'll click on Next. And I agree to this. I mean, you don't really have to read this. I never read this. 
I don't think anybody does. <laughs> so just agree to this. And then destination folder, next, custom. You can click on next. And then you can create a shortcut on your desktop. That's a really useful thing to do. Then use the old obsolete and monstrous icon. Ah, that's a really, really tough decision right there. I mean, this is the old icon here. This is the new icon right here. And personally, I recommend doing the new icon. But if you like this little unknown creature, which I've not figured out what it is yet, just click on this. It uh, doesn't matter. It's not going to change anything. But I still recommend getting this Notepad++. Plus Plus. It looks a lot more legit. Now you can press install, and then you are done with installing Notepad++. Plus Plus. There you go. Now it's going to give you an option to run Notepad++ Plus Plus on your desktop immediately. So just click on finish and select it. It's going to open up Notepad++. Plus Plus. Okay, everything on here is just basically what they fix in this new software version. I mean, this is just fixed bugs and you can just delete this. I mean, you're not going to be using this. Now, I probably recommend to you that this is going to be your home for writing all XHTML and CSS documents because this is pretty easy to use and as you see, it will let you launch it immediately in uh, Chrome or Safari or Internet Explorer. Okay. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be discussing about how to make the very basic website and you will be able to write a very, 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 how would I say, I mean, primitive website by the end of next tutorial, but it's pretty cool. You still wrote a website. So anyway, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and next time we will be making our first website ever.